The questions are, I don't see. The questions are, can you pronounce 10 sounds, 10 vowel sounds you know? I want just one person to pronounce 10 vowel sounds he or she knows. Yes, thank you. Stand up, yes, thank you. Let's pass the other for a bit. I want 10, 10. Pronounce. Pronounce it. Ah, we are going to withdraw. We are going to withdraw our clapping. Who is going to help us? Who is going to help us? Ten sounds. Ten vowel sounds. Okay. Now listen. Please let's pay attention. Don't distract the class. It's very important we don't distract the class. And it's also important for us to participate in the class. You see, nothing in life is so easy. We all know this, but many of you still don't know. Nothing in life is so easy. Nothing in life comes easy. Khalifa, stop now. Nothing in life comes easy. We need to pay attention to this activity or today's work. It's very important we pay attention to it because it may not come again till you end GSS3. Please, this is an opportunity for you to take, to understand this sound. It's difficult, a little. This sound is a schwa sound. We call it schwa. Please say it, schwa. Schwa. Shua, 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 sound, Shua, sound, Shua, sound. You see, when you pronounce a word that ends with er, hello, are you listening? When you pronounce a word that ends with er, you have the sound. Pronounce teacher. Teacher, teacher, daughter, that ER is the sure sound they are seeing on the board. Are we listening? That ER is the sure sound they are seeing on the board. If you transcribe teacher, you have this sound representing the ER at the end of what? You have the sure sound at the end of ER ending a word. Teacher, daughter, Cheetah, farmer, that those E R are representing the schwa sound. You know, in English language, they use symbols to represent sounds. But in our mother tongue alphabet, they use letters, just like in ordinary English. But in English sounds, they use symbols. Whenever you have E R ending the word, you have this symbol representing. So let's open it up. This sound is an unrounded, sorry, sorry. This sound is an unrounded, a central, and mid vowel sound. Please don't write, don't write. When you want to write, when you want to write, I will tell you to write, please. Don't write here. Thank you. It is generally known as schwa sound, and it represents the weak form of some vowel sounds. And but, and, can, they, it's C. It is not represented by specific spelling symbols. It can occur at the initial, middle, or final positions of words. The vowel is represented by many letters, usually in stress, usually on, on stress labels, as seen in the following words. Please, let's write this down. Just the symbol at the initial position, the, sound, the words, and their transcriptions. All right, all right, all right, I will do that. Hold on, now let me change, let me change the pattern. The initial position, just the initial. Right. 
Hold on, please. Collect right, from, from, please, please, and um, come, come, come. I don't like that. Okay, please, please, let's do this way. Just copy the symbol. Copy the symbol at the initial position, the words and their transcription. Please, two minutes, two minutes. Do that quickly, two minutes. Shua sound. Write Shua sound at the initial position, then the words and transcription. Khalifa, I'm going to send you out of this class. Stand up. Go downstairs now. Yes. Go downstairs and report yourself. No, 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 no. You know me very well. So look, I don't want to know anything. We need to respect one another. It's very important. Yes, where the symbol at the initial position, then the words and transcription. Yes, any question? Yes. One, two, three, four, five words and their transcriptions. Yes, just write them. Don't write the sentence above. Don't write the sentence above. Just write the example. The short sound, initial position, then the words and transcription. All right. Don't make noise now. Let's cooperate. Okay, when you transcribe those words, you can see the transcriptions. You can see uh, uh, pain, uh. That letter O has a sure sound. Uh, uh. Uh, not all, uh, but uh, 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 say it, everybody. Uh, 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 uh. Now, These three sounds are almost the same in the pronunciation. This one that I wrote here. But this one is a weak vowel. Oh, the first one up is ah. Uh, the second one is ah. Uh, and this one is just ah. Uh, very weak. That's it. Uh, uh, this one. This one is uh, But this one is ah. Uh, this one is ah, uh, right? So we can take the next slide. So we have, we have open, obsess, above, oblige, and attack. Oblige. Oblige is when you try to obey, thank you. When you try to abide by the rules. All right. Shua sound at the media position. Shua, please write it. Shua sound at the media position. Shua sound at the media position. Shua sound at the media. That's medium. So we have success. The letter U has Shua sound. Ah. We have vegetable. That letter A has Shua sound. We have colored, covered, commit. So those letters in the middle 
have Yeshua Psalms. Those that are in me have Yeshua Psalms. One minute, one minute to go. Are you writing, Tamara? Okay. Let's take the next slide. You can't copy everything. Do you understand? But just for you to write something down. Can you see this? Okay, it's okay now. R are the final position. R at the final position. Ah, at the final position. We have actor, center, picture, labor, actor. We have ah, at the final position. We have center, picture, labor, actor. Two minutes. Get something down in your notes. Two minutes. Kadiku. All right, it's, it's up. Aisha, are you with us? This is fair. It's okay. All right, change it. It's okay. You can't see it. Can you see this? I'm listening. No. You see an example now. Show you an example. 
I'll it come. Okay. Other examples include other examples include the Aquaman, Alia, Asaya. Other examples include woman, about, above, butter, outer, daughter, meter, teacher, center, hospital, edible, this good, particular, sugar, formula, pasta, layer, doctor, color, labor, paper, measure, future, figure, data, labor, chorus. See you on the line later. Uh, you underline letters have the sure sign. If you transcribe all these words, those letters that are underlined have the sure sign. The sure. So we are to be sure differentiate for reverse sounds. That is why it's been taken as sure. Sure. S C H. You see, before you get to SSD, and I believe that many of you would have been transcribing, even now, some of you can even transcribe. I know very well, some of you can transcribe now. Before you get to SSD, you would have. And then more, and go down to transcribe English words. You know, learning is in bits. You know that. Who agree? Who is going to agree that learning is in bits? Who agree with this that learning is achieved in bits? You agree. So, you know, we have several sounds. This is one of them. If you can familiarize, familiarize yourself with this one, I think. You have achieved one step, learning other sounds. Okay, you may not complete this now. Let's take the next slide. Sophia, write some, write some, write some. Not all, just write some down, not all. For example, you have, you have three words per uh, line. You can write one or two, two, one or two, two. Calipas, don't stop writing now. Kadiku, stop writing. See where I'm talking. I have my time. I have edit. You can see, but I have to. To subside. I <laughs> 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 Hello, are we okay with this? Are we okay? <laughs> now, I have four questions. I have four questions. Anybody who scores four over four? Hmm. Anybody who scores four by four is going to receive a recharge card of 100 naira. I'm covering my eyes because the money is too small. Other than a recharge card is too small for you. So, I'm supposed to say 1,000 naira, but 
Anybody that scores four over four, depends on your own, your network. Folks, excuse me, I remembered something. I found a lost, but a uh, lost money. I found something. Five hundred. How was it? How did it? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. How did you put the money? Is it folded or squeezed? I can't remember. <laughs> Somebody misplaced his money in this class. I found it. Are you sure? How much? 500. 500. But the one I saw is not 500. 1,000. So, if you misplaced your money, you can see me. So, apart from the recharge card, though, okay, let's take the next slide now. As you can see, this is the first activity. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. I want to see four by four. And then we have a recharge card of 100 naira. Huh? First two. First two. Anyone? First two. Thirty seconds. It's gone. One minute is gone. Three. You're done. Let me see. I repeat. Number what? Number three. Oh, I is on the line. You missed one. Oh, it's not for number one. So I consider two from boys or consider two from girls. You missed two. Check the answer. Faida, first check your answer. Faida, first check your answer. Hello, you see, I told him that he missed one. You know what I did? He missed two. He missed one. She missed one. And then uh, she got a little What did he score? Three. He missed one. Are you what did he score? Three. Try it now. What did he score?
Next slide, please. Oh, 
Let's try this. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 